when the narcissist makes a big mistake. When they assess a situation wrongly and then make an act or judgment that is misguided or wrong. When the narcissist first meets you, they believe that whatever they currently perceive of you, however they currently interpret or regard you, is how it will always be. In their minds, they think they've got you all figured out. They think they understand you. They've solved you. So they think they can predict how you are going to be. They think they can forecast what is going to happen in the future. But of course, this is all going on in their minds. It has nothing to do with reality. It's not based on facts or logic. It's only based on the fantasy that they have created in their minds. They believe that whatever they think about you is true and will remain true even into the future. The narcissist has managed to enter your life and have control over certain things that are of value and significance to you. You have talked about yourself and shared your feelings with them. You have revealed secret information with them. You believed that they were trustworthy but they were never to be trusted. They were never to be given access to anything of value or significance in your life. Because they're a predator and they preyed on you. They exploited you. They took over many aspects of your life and even the core of who you are. Once they've got in, they begin to interfere with your supporting foundations. They begin to make unauthorized alterations to everything that you have established, which helped you to become who you are. They begin to push and provoke you they begin to irritate you in every way and to an extreme degree. And it gradually diminishes everything that you once were. Because they always find excuses to be upset, uncooperative, childish or stubborn. They habitually overreact and they're always trying to get a reaction out of you. They're constantly harassing you to do something. They're constantly troubling or annoying you with frequent or persistent requests or interruptions. They're constantly nagging or pestering you. They always have something to complain about. They always have to express their dissatisfaction or annoyance about something. They always have to state that they are suffering from some kind of pain or illness. And it demands a lot of your time, energy and attention. It's very toxic behaviour because it takes the focus off yourself. It causes you to neglect your own needs and interests. 
because you're constantly giving your energy away to someone who is very demanding. And of course, they're giving nothing back to you in return. So you end up being depleted. It diminishes your soul, mind and spirit. They pretend to love you one minute, but then they hate you the next. It's very confusing. It makes you nervous, worried or irritated. It causes you to become tired. Which then makes you even more susceptible to their manipulation. It makes you more controllable. But you don't realise it at the time. You develop cognitive dissonance. You have two contradictory ideas or beliefs about the narcissist. You don't really want to accept that this person who seems so pleasant, attractive, loving and caring at the beginning could now have turned against you and could now be making justifications or excuses why they are now acting differently towards you. They always have an excuse for the way that they are treating you. They always have an excuse for dis disrespecting you. You begin to adjust to these new conditions. It makes you want to prove to them that you are worthy of their respect. You are worthy of their love. You are trying to prove this to someone who is treating you in an unfair and cruel way to someone who is preventing you from having opportunities and freedom and yet you are trying to prove to them that you are worthy of their respect and love You assume that their behaviour is not intentional. But they do know exactly what they are doing. This is not accidental. This is not something that just happened by chance. This isn't just something that they started doing with you. They have rehearsed this behaviour for many years with many different people. It didn't just occur suddenly out of nowhere. They have been doing it for years. They have become addicted to having power over people. They have become addicted to causing great confusion and disorder in people's lives. And they have become addicted to being able to control people through manipulation. They groom their victims for this purpose. They pressurise them into adopting radically different beliefs by attempting to impress them by affecting greater importance than is actually possessed. They are pretentious. Two-faced. There's always another side to them. They are never expressing their genuine feelings. That is how they manage to deceive you. By concealing or misrepresenting the truth of who they really are. And that was not a mistake. They know exactly what they are doing. They know exactly how it affects you. 
They know that it is not right. They may even admit to you that they know their behavior is not right. But they will still continue to behave in these ways that are not suitable or appropriate in the circumstances. There is a big difference between someone who is engaged in this behavior and does not know what they're doing compared with someone who is engaged in it and does know what they're doing. Because that means they know the effects that it is having on you. Narcissists are not out of their minds. They know exactly what they're doing. They just don't care. They love how powerful it makes them feel. They want to have power over someone who is helpless to, def to, def to defend themselves. They intentionally behave in this way to have power over you. It is especially satisfying when the person is unsuspecting. When they are not aware of the presence of danger. When you're confused and you don't know what's happening to you, it gives a rush of intense excitement to the narcissist. And they become hooked on you like a drug. Being a good manipulator and a good liar is something that they include as a constituent part of them because it makes them feel powerful. It makes them feel like they are more intelligent and more superior than you are. So they will continue with their behavior with great pride and arrogance and with the feeling that you are unworthy of their consideration or respect. Because in their minds, you were not wise enough to figure out what they were doing. Even though they deceived you. Even though they acted in a secret or dishonest way. They see it as though they were being fair. They have a distorted sense of reality. They go against what is normal, usual or expected because they believe that they are special or different. And that is why they have such a strong sense of entitlement. They believe that they are inherently deserving of privileges or special treatment. Narcissists generally lack the power to perform physically demanding tasks. They have little strength or energy of their own. They lack courage. They only care if things don't work out for them. And many times things don't work out for them because of their inability to predict or plan for what might happen in the future. But that negative, unhelpful and arrogant side of them will soon come back again once they found a new source to help them and take on the responsibilities. They will be exactly the same way as they were before. You might see a narcissist who might be at a low point in their lives and that might cause them to feel less important or proud. But the core of who they really are is still there. Once they get back to how they used to be, they will continue to engage in the same behaviors 
just as they did before. But these mistakes are caused by their lack of good sense and sound judgment. They engage in reckless behaviour with a lack of care and attention for the consequences of their actions. Their arrogance deprives them of understanding, judgment or perception. They cannot see what will happen in the future. They cannot plan for those events. They cannot see the bigger picture. They cannot develop an understanding of a situation that includes more than what is, Im than what is immediately apparent. And that is why they are so dangerous to be around. That is why they are likely to cause problems. Because they cannot see what their actions will produce. They only see what is happening now. Or whatever fantasy they are entertaining in their minds. They cannot see what might be the consequences of their actions. Actions that often develop from their own selfish needs and desires for wealth or power. That's what drives them to do what they do. When they do things which they know are not normal, it makes them feel powerful. They could have controlled their actions if they wanted to. They did what they did because it's what they felt like doing at that moment. It made them feel a little bit better. And they didn't care about you. They didn't care about how their actions were going to affect you. They didn't consider the consequences of their actions. They didn't consider that what they were doing in that moment might later cause problems for them in the future. But that was the decision that they made. They made their bed and now they have to lie in it. They must accept the unpleasant consequences of their actions or decisions. And I don't pity them. I don't feel any sorrow for them. Remember how they didn't feel anything for you. When they were fully aware of the effects that their actions were having on you. Remember that. And then it will be much easier to let them go. Thank you for watching. I hope this video resonated with you. Please like, comment, share and subscribe. Click the bell icon to receive notifications for my future videos. If you would like to donate, my PayPal link is in the video description. Coaching inquiries, you can email me at knoxforvercoaching at gmail.com. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.